G'day and welcome to the Infronters. I'm XQ, joined today by Space Tomato and Badgers. How are you gentlemen doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, mate. Mr. Tomato is looking very festive. He's out festive as us. us. Yeah, dude, the uh, San Tomato. <laughs> San Tomato. Okay. Nice. It's different. Yeah. I like it, though. I'll, I'll allow it. How's that it sound? <laughs> um, if you will. I, I thought we... So we've... I'm not taking it off. It's cold in here, so... Yeah, we'll see. I'm getting the heat, so I'm I'm cooling down and having to put the aircon on. So it's a bit weird. We get this every time the temperature changes here, don't we? The, yeah. Like, Why are you guys going the other way? But yeah. <laughs> um. So I thought with three eighteen around the corner, it might be a good idea to have a look at what are some of the best daily drivers, ones that are going to be good for players to use in the upcoming patch. And so with that, what I got these guys to do that they did in the last 20 seconds before we went live because they're terrible and didn't plan ahead um, no. was was to uh, write down, we're going to do top five each. So we'll start at the bottom and go, go up and talk about why we chose those and hopefully show each other something different about uh, the daily drivers that we have chosen and, and, and hopefully take you guys along for a ride with us and uh, see what we enjoy. So Badgers, I'm going to let you kick it off first. What is your number five? Oh, God, you wanted an order to them as well? <laughs> well okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 I just realised. Probably... That's what I was thinking. We should... I didn't say it, but I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> so you really came out of print. Actually, before we do that then, and you can put them in order in the background while we're doing this then, what do you think uh, makes a good daily driver? What, 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 why did you choose, kind of what was the things you thought about that made you think of the top five? So start with that, Badgers. Um... <sighs> I, I think one of the things, one of the things that I'm coming around to on daily drivers, fueled only by my own imagination, is that um, larger ships are going to start to incur a cost penalty for going into atmosphere and stuff like that because of the size of them, repairs, maintenance, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, because that makes sense from a shuttle perspective. Because if you can just do it with the ship, like a, a shuttle, makes mm. less sense. So, um, I mean, at the moment, I've got to say, my, my daily driver's been the C8. Mm. Um, um, just I, I was just going to I was gonna add to that. Um, I find that daily drivers are very personal to the person that's doing it. If you're playing in a group, they're a group ship. If they're a solo mm. person, then it's a solo ship. So it really comes down to um, individual players. And again, that's why we it's a good idea to do it as uh, multiple people, because we probably all play slightly differently. So I was just going to, uh, on the back of what you were going to say. Someday, somebody's daily driver will be like an Orion. He's not. He's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. Because he'll play. They'll play in a big org. We just don't really have the ships to contend with those uh, big orgs yet. So yeah, he's right. So a daily driver is really personal and, and an opinion, so to speak. So if you don't agree with our choices, yours is not going to be wrong <laughs> either. This is just a, a bit of fun for us, and hopefully you can come with us along. So badges. Um, anything else you would like to add to that for our space? The same question. Um, no, I think that's it. I think. You know, a daily driver for me is something that you get into the most often. I mean, and I suppose that could be um, profession-based. John Citizen's daily driver is probably as prospect or as mole. Um, but a lot of the times, I think it's just something that can do a lot of what you throw at it. So it's got some room for cargo. It's It can hold its own in combat, maybe. Not the C8. Um, you know, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, something a little bit multi-purpose is, is a good thing. I can't unpicture John Citizen carrying a mole around now. Um, <laughs> everywhere he goes. Anyway, um, so for me, uh, Space, when I did it, and I did say this to you guys as well, I kind of wrote down big things from the patch. So we know Pyrus is coming in, so I wrote down Combat, the Cargo Refactor, and Salvage. And they're the ships that I tended to grab uh, to, uh, towards more. How did you look at it? Uh, when you were looking, picking your five? Well, I'm not going to lie. I actually originally was picking my five for the whole year. Um, but I would look at it the same way all the time. I'm a very feature for focused person instead of ships. So I generally don't actually look at ships all that often. But I was thinking about it in terms of the same thing you were, kind of what features are coming online. And Badgers has a really good point that these the ships are going to be uh they're going to be changing quite a bit and so i figure the best daily drivers are the ones that aren't going to limit you so much based mm -hmm. on those changes which you know in the coming future maybe not in 318 but engineering and, and things like that are going to really start to limit people i ultimately think of a daily driver as just being something that's adaptable like you said 
Usually it's the cargo variant of something. So like a C1 is a much better daily driver than an A1 and so on and so forth. So a bit of jack of um, all trades, would you say? Yeah. I mean, like if you have a cargo variant of something, you can basically just carry in whatever you need to do another profession, Mm. right? Yeah. No, I don't disagree. I can also tell you, though, based on what Badges has said, I've already started thinking, oh, shit, I need to change my five. But that, 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 that's what we're here to do. We're, we're here to do that to each other. You know what I mean? Have, a, like, make us think outside our own box, our own little brain. Like, so, mm-hmm. so we all open our minds and, and look at different things. So, yeah. All right, Badges, getting back to where I was meant to be a couple of minutes ago, do you want to give us your f- number five, please? Yeah, I, I think because of um, exactly what... Um, space said is that actually it's not so much an order as it is like look if you're going to be doing this then this is going to be it and i think we've kind of done the mining to death so i think it goes without saying that you know with mining it's more it's less of a choice it's a lack of options Mm. um so we know what the miners are doing but i'm going to go out there a little bit um strange on this one i'm going to go start off with an 85x for the races oh So completely left of field, but I think we're going to see a lot more racing. We were talking about it just before we came on stream about the missions and how Mm. we kind of hope that they scale in the same way as the other ones. So racers get to enjoy what they're doing Mm. and enjoy all of what CRG are putting in with the new race loops and the snake pit um, up on the, you know, in the Microtex moon, but do it whilst earning cash as well, or, you know, credits. So that'd be good to see. Why the 85X? Why not? one of the other races um i just really like its silhouette that's it and i think half of half of racing is looking cool um you know (laughs) unless you are intentionally racing bangers um or doing the the um the top gear thing of racing mobile homes whilst trying to hit your opponents out the window with a frying pan unless you're doing that Looking cool is important. So, yeah, I go 85X for my uh, racing daily driver. We used to do races in the Star Fair. I think that's very similar to the mobile home. And it's very fun, by the way, because they, they drift really a lot, if you've ever done it. So. Yeah. All the aerodynamics of a post office. Yeah. That's yeah, it. it's like throwing yeah. a brick through the wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Space, your number five, please, sir. Uh, well, uh, just like Badgers, I didn't really pick an order. <laughs> So um, I actually said the 135 was one that I was I was interested in. And this was this was kind of looking forwards a bit more towards like pyro coming out and stuff. But ultimately, I think the 135, if they get the refinery stuff working on it, I don't know if it does if if the scoop works very well, but helps a lot with fuel efficiency, I think, with that ship. Are you talking about the Um, 135C, the the origin ship? Is that just so we're on the same page? Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Comes with a bed. It's one of the smaller ships that comes with a bed. And, you know, bed log off has, it sounds like it's still working. We don't really know what's going to happen between now and live. But, um, and then it also has space for some cargo. I I think 135 is kind of eclipsed by the Pisces. The Pisces ultimately, I think, is a better ship for new players. But as we keep going further and further and that bed log out becomes more valuable, I think the 135 kind of starts to edge it out for me. And with the mm. refinery that it has as well, you know, I, I just think that's a solid ship to have. Okay. You, you don't mean refinery, you mean fuel scoop, don't you? The fuel scoop. No, the, the 100 series has its own specific refinery on board. They just haven't added the functionality, but it has something that can convert gases into yeah, usable yeah. fuel. The fuel scoop. It's a fuel mm-hmm. scoop. I, is what yeah, it is. It, mm. you call it a fuel scoop, but then that confuses people because we say that there's fuel scoops on everything. But then you call it a refinery and you really confuse people because people think it was an actual... Well, that's like, what they call it. They call uh, it the really? air refinery system. Yeah. They do call it... If you go on the uh, 100 uh, okay. eyes I'll give you that. Uh, sales that page. Is, that is yeah. what the acronym is. You are correct. Um, but I've always seen it as a fuel scoop, but yeah, okay, I get your point. I, I don't know. It, it it whatever it is, it sets it above other ships in terms of longevity okay. because of that feature. I guess it could go, kind of go into the races a little bit too there as well. Um, yeah, so, so, and so, so, the the stuff I listed is not necessarily three eighteen stuff. Mm. So I, I do think that it would be a good daily runner for a starter uh, player in three eighteen. But I think the Pisces would still be better at that yeah. point. Well I, well, I tried to focus mine more towards three eighteen, but you you know you take it as as you will. Um, my, my question back to you then would be why wouldn't you take a cutter? 
actually have the cutter on my list. Oh, well, there we go then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that when we get to then. So my number five, uh, probably no surprise here at all, was the Redeemer. Um, I picked this because it allows you to have a little bit of cargo, only a small amount, uh, but also it's going to be really good for the piracy. Um, I think just it's already very good as it is. Um, but yeah, it's probably, I think there's only one other ship here that isn't new. So all the rest of my ships are very new. Um, so yeah, um, I think you guys can see why I picked the Redeemer here or not. Or do, do I need to explain that? Redeemer's on mine. Yeah, well, there you go. All right. We'll talk about, we'll talk about it more when it's yours. What about you, Space? Is there any, any well, reason why you were questioning why I picked the Redeemer? Wouldn't, why I would question it? No, it's a, it's a good ship. I mean, if you don't have friends, it doesn't really work very well, but yeah. You do, you do need people, that is for sure. And that goes back to what we said earlier, different opinions, so, so it really does come down to who you're working with. All right, Space, we'll start with you for number four. Um, for number four, honestly, I've got the Cutlass because the Cutlass is always on a daily driver's list. I, I can't imagine having one without it on there. I mm -hmm. await the day that the Cutlass is beaten as like the best single to two player ship in the game, but uh, mm. the Cutlass is going to be able to carry you know, a rock around to do mining. It's going to be able to carry cargo around. I also think it's pretty cool because it's going to be able to fit into these new caves, maybe. I don't know if the sand caves are going to have vehicle entries, mm. but it's nice to have a relatively small ship that you and your friends can go visit those caves in. So, yeah. I mean... And they have talked about vehicle entries, at, at a, depending when we get them, yeah. I guess. But yeah. So yeah. yeah, I could see that being a thing. I think the Cutlass is a very good choice. It's actually on my list as well. So yeah, badges, Cutlass... Yeah, I'm going to go with the Corsair um, because uh, so I think your number there's a lot of ships. Sorry, this is your number four? Yeah. Sorry. So I, I think in terms of the kind of, for the kind of, um, there's a few ships that fit into this bracket. You've got can shift cargo and a vehicle, and it's got the ability to fight and all that sort of stuff. And I think into that bracket, you put the Cutlass, the Freelancer, the mm. Connie, the Corsair. And they all and the MSR, and they all go in together, and it's just it kind of made sense to pick one of them. And as the course says, the new kid on the block, I think you know everyone's going to be playing with that. There's some horrifying footage of what it does with a lot of uh, ballistics on the front. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of people are going to play that way, especially with the buff that ballistics are getting versus shields and three eighty. Mm, so, Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's going to be something we see a lot of, but. Just that ability to have, I can put a vehicle in it and we can run some cargo and I can have my friends along. It fits that bill for me. Mm. No, I agree. Uh, for my number four, I picked a Vulture. Uh, with, um, you know, it, like mining's kind of all going to be old hat now. So I'm, again, I'm trying to pick new things and people always gravitate towards the new. So I think a lot of people will be out there trying salvage um, and with them making um, the the hull stripping as profitable as Quantanium, roughly speaking. Um, I think a lot of people will pivot and try something new, um, and the Vulture seems to be the best one. The um, Reclaimer won't really find its legs, so to speak, for me, until um, it can do the munching. And because the Reclaimer is so big, the only thing I can see, excuse me, it, um, exceed happening there is if the reclaimer could just um, strip a lot more, like it's got like bigger lasers on it, so it can like do it heaps quicker. Um, but from what I've seen, um, I haven't seen anything to tell me that yet, so we'll have to wait. And I see. think I think I saw in the patch notes maybe that they are buffing the laser to be much more powerful until it gets its uh, its other stuff. Cool. All right. Well, if they do <laughs> that, then maybe the reclaimer will, will come in there as well. But I still think it's gonna. Um, Let's look at some of the negatives for it. Um, you need more people. Um, it's a bigger ship. It takes longer. It can't dock it in space yet. So basically, you've got to come out of Grim Hex or fly off one of the planets, and it's a pain in the backside. So for me, it's still with the Vulture at the moment, especially for 318. Down the road, that'll 100% change, especially when Munching comes online. So yeah. But yeah, the Vulture, is it, you guys think that'll be a good one for 318? Yeah, that's on my list. Oh, cool. All right. Well, we'll talk it has about, to be. We'll talk about more when we get to that then. So who? Uh, <laughs> so that's my number four. Uh, so I guess I'll do my number three uh, as well because uh, I haven't gone first yet. So my number three is actually the Constellation uh, for similar reasons to what Badger said about the, the Corsair. 
Um, you know, it does a vehicle. Um, it's got some good guns. It does four people. Um, you can do the crew with it. You can do a vehicle with it. Um, it it's pretty good at combat as well. Um, it's obviously in a worse place uh, a little bit than the Corsair, but that's why I picked it, because it's a good general daily driver. And um, I think if you look at the daily drivers at the moment, um, besides the Corsair, the Connie is probably the second best. So, yeah. Probably give it away what my one or two is, but uh, you get what I'm talking about. Um, what do you think about the Corsair? Uh, no, sorry, the Connie uh, space. I like the Connie. Yeah. I, I I really like the Connie, and I I like RSI. Um, I, I would love to see the Connie be updated because I like RSI and the Connie, but they both just aren't great in the old style that the Connie's in. <laughs> I just I can't. I don't know. I want to tell people get the constellation, but there are so many alternatives to it that are so much more updated now that I have trouble suggesting it. I think I think you're going to have to be a very patient person for the Connie, but I do think when they finally redo it, as we have will, been, yeah. That, it, 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 um, well, John Cruz said that it's not going to suck because it's got Chris's name on it. So yeah, but yeah, Algrid's a big fan, <laughs> a big fan of uh, RSI as well. So yeah. I think you'll find mm -hmm. when that finally does bear fruit, it'll really bear some fruit. It'll be a wonderful. I'm sure movie. it's going to be amazing. It's the OG. Like yep. they have to do good with that ship. 100. Um, percent Badges, your number three, or anything you want to add to about the constellation? Uh, lovely Connie, obviously. Um, I got the Taurus, and bless him, Cans just helped me with a bunch of CCUs, um, and struggled. Basically, spent a good evening banging his head against a brick wall. Trying to convince me that I could lose it and I wouldn't let him. So now, now he knows what I love the Now he knows what I got to put up with. You know, he's just a perpetual <laughs> child, can. That's what it is. You just got to you just got to pull out the stick sometimes and beat him. Uh, but that's fine. So your number three, please, Badger Junior. <laughs> Badger, who the hell's Badger Senior? If I'm the Junior, <laughs> um, do, do you know what? I'm gonna go your Vulture dad. as well. Um, um, anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, yeah, I've got to go Vulture as well. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things we're lucky uh, in the way that we will be there for all the new game loops. So mm. we're not going to be part of the the player the player base who, when the game is released, rock up and go, "How does all this work?" Because mm. we're going to try it all surely purely by dint of the fact that we're waiting so long for stuff that it's like, well, I might not be interested in salvage, but I'm going to give it a go anyway, because it's the new thing to do in the game. Mm. Uh, so yeah, uh, but I, I like the way the Vulture looks. I love the really industrial look that they've gone for. Um, I like the fact that you get the, you know, strip the hull off, and then this thing comes out of the compactor at the back, and you get to move that around. I think that's quite fun for a couple of people mm. to get involved in and, and make some cash. It's a little bit more hands-on to the mining. In my point of view, because yes, of what you said, very though, much more tactile. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to be a, a like more popular than people realise. So yeah, I agree with you. Yes, um, Crew, crewmates beating each other to death with one SCU boxes. <laughs> um, yes, absolutely. So space, your third lucky last for number three. Same as Badgers. Oh, wow. the Vulture. Yeah, it's. I mean, we have to have it on there. You can't. It's it's salvage. Like it's here. Yeah. It's yeah. finally here. You can't not say, and that's kind of a bummer is that it is uh, locked to ships. One of them, which you can't buy in game right now. I don't know. Can you buy the reclaimer in game? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think you can, but I, I would I be really think... surprised if they don't somehow allow people to buy that. But, uh, I, you would hope, fingers crossed, that it allow people to buy it in game. Right. Yeah. Well, um, but yeah. as of right now, you can't buy into it. Um, you can't earn it in game. You have to buy into it rather. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's the FPS version, which is nice, but it kind of sucks that this is a daily driver ship list. And I love, I, I wish I could say that the Vulture should be a daily driver, but not really realistic, I guess, to, to suggest it to people. But I am mm -hmm. excited for it. And I, I can't wait to, you know, in my own org, we're going to try and lend them out to people who can't, don't have access as much yeah. as possible. And, uh, I, and I think most people in the community will do that. I think that will be the draw card for the Reclaimer too. For people that don't have one themselves, they can get in there and have a go yeah. and experience it in the multi-crew sense. So, yeah, I think that's that's where that'll shine. But the Vulture, mm -hmm. especially for 318, is going to shine as well. 
Um, I know they're going to want to keep the Vulture exclusive to the store for as long as possible, but I really hope they get that out in the next patch in 3.19. Um, if, if I look at it, worst case scenario, if you look at what they did with the Rock and a few of the other ships, it'll be yeah. within six months it'll be in game. Uh, hope fingers, so. Fingers yeah. crossed sooner, though, because I think it it would be really good to bring new players and just go, hey, look at this, try this. Um, and yeah. I'm, well, I'm a firm believer, I don't know if you guys agree, I don't know we're tangenting slightly a bit here, but I'm a firm believer of trying before you buy. I, I think I, I'm one of those people that, like, if you try something and you believe in it, then you buy it. I don't want to have to buy it, try it, and then find I hate it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and that's really changed. A little, look at gaming, like, demos have really disappeared in the last, I don't know, 10 years. But... Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. What, what do you guys think on that? I think space is with me. So, Badges, I'll ask you, are you, you kind of with us? Would you like to allow people to try it before they buy, or, or, or are you thinking it's more about funding the game? No, I think... I, I think there's enough... There are enough question marks over ships in the game that it's absolutely beneficial to CIG to let people try stuff. Because we, we all of us, whatever ship we like, we all have this disclaimer that sits at the bottom going, this may change. We might change something. And obviously, they're not going to turn the Reclaimer into a racing yacht. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, there are going to be things that they need to, or that they may feel the need to change, which might put a lot of people off the ship. Um, and we've seen, it, we've seen it with changes in the past. People have gone... I don't want the ship anymore because of changes in that have been made. In regards to what you just said to the claim, reclaimer, I can now see people in the comments going, challenge accepted. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Videos videos of that thing racing. I mean, if you can get it to go horizontally in Atmo without it falling out of the sky, I'll be impressed. I think you mean um, vertical. Vertical. No, if, if you can just get it to go that way without doing that, oh, um, I, I, I would be great. That. That's easy. Um, so the last time I flew, you, you were talking about you know the reclaimer finding its legs. I know where they are. They're sticking out of the top every time it slams into the deck. <laughs> and the legs are the only thing that's left, and the rest of it's just crushed in the middle. Um, <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I, I think letting people try because um, it's the thing that I you know we've all said time and time again. I don't know whether I like it. Try it during a free fly. It's going nowhere. The game isn't suddenly going to be out tomorrow. You've got the time. Borrow it. Ask in chat if someone's got it. Everyone has no issue whatsoever lending ships. Give it a go um, before yeah. you before you even consider committing money to stuff. Try it. Yeah, yeah. At this point, uh, I think I, th I think it's best to point people towards playing the game before putting them in. I mean, that's that should have always been the case, but especially now. Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of people who will play the game, see a ship in the game, love it, buy it in the game, and, and absolutely adore it, and then still go to the store and spend real money on it. And that might be less than they would get if it was just people only able to spend real money, but that's, I think that's a much better situation mm -hmm. to be in. I think our community yeah. will, will agree with all of us because um, we did that live stream recently where we we're giving ships away, and they actually chose to give smaller ships away than a rather a large ship. You know, we could have brought, mm -hmm. like, say, a galaxy and given that away, but they were like, no, give lots of little cutters away. Um, and, you know, we gave a whole bunch away, and there were other people that wanted to give them away as well. And it really generous to see people doing that, and I think that's a sign yeah. of the community we live in too. So, yeah. And it, I think something that doesn't get talked about at this stage, or at least I haven't heard it, so apologies if it does, but they've said that large ships and above are going to be for those that really enjoy that profession. So you've got a couple that can multi-roll. Mm -hmm. But if you've got a large minor, minor, it's because you really, really enjoy mining. Mm -hmm. So if you're someone who buys the game, plays a bit every time a patch comes out, then discontinu you know, discontinues playing until the next patch comes out, mm -hmm. you'll probably be at a disadvantage with a large minor when the game comes out proper, unless you plan on upping your game time. Because mm -hmm. you know, earning these ships is going to be a large part of the progression of the game. Um, so a lot of the people that are buying these ships, hopefully, are thinking, I enjoy this so much, I know this is what I want to do in the game, so I'm going to splurge the money on it. Mm. For everyone else, if you don't really enjoy it, a large is probably unnecessary, yeah. unless, of course, you really, really like the ship, in which case that just overrides everything. I think what you're hitting on there, you know how we, me and Algrid always talk about buying a big ship and earning down? A lot of what mm -hmm. we talk about here is people that have just spent too much money. 
like 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 you've spent x amount of money how do you get the best out of that right so that's where all of our stuff comes from but at the end of the day all three of us and i know space is over there screaming because i i know how what he's saying is just don't buy lodger ships you don't need to just get a starter <laughs> ship that's all you need right so fix yeah. my fleet like like i know sometimes you all three of us will talk and will disagree on certain things but i think we all fundamentally agree we, we come at it from the different approaches so what a lot of what our i do is to fix someone's fleet that spent way too much money right space will tell yeah. you you don't need to go that far in get a starter ship and that's all you need and i think badges you, you move between both groups right you, you, I, you, i'm just Look, my, my, my question is, can you afford it without having to eat beans on toast for three yes. months? Yeah. And, and if that, the answer to that is yes, then great. If it's not, then for the love of God, don't buy it. Yeah. Um, don't pick but, the beans. I, I think we'll, all, all, of us are, yeah, all of us are saying don't buy the ships if you can't afford them. And, and you yeah. don't really need them anymore, in my opinion. You know, there are lots of people out there with really big fleets. And they're going to need people to crew them. It's that simple. I, I get really um, not this AI, but last AI. There was a guy that we did fix my fleet for. He'd only been in the game two weeks, and he'd already spent like six grand. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, it, and it's things like that I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, space, space. We need to. Like, I keep thinking about if I ever do merch, what would it look like? That I want CIG's checkout button with a cross through it. And don't and maybe don't pick the beans <laughs> on the back or something. Yeah, cut it out. <laughs> don't pick the beans. <laughs> I love it. That's a that's a tagline right there. Yeah. But I uh I I um agree with you on the whole like you don't want people to spend so much money up front mm. and and yep. it's like this forty five bucks. It's mm. so easy. It's it's nice to be able to uh be able to get in and do all of this stuff for 45 bucks and mm -hmm. i think there are still a couple of things they need to get out of the way like the whole vulture thing mm -hmm. making sure that they can we can get these ships playable right. by like people who don't buy them quickly but yeah. um yeah. yeah it's just it's crazy that we still haven't outgrown that reputation that people have to spend hundreds of dollars <laughs> like some people are like oh you still yep. you have to spend two thousand bucks on that yep. game right it's like yep. no yeah yeah Try, uh, trying to explain to my friends that there are three and a half grand ships in this game and watching their actual head explode because mm -hmm. they're like wait i can buy a vehicle for that in like, real an, world. In, a, like yeah. an, a, a real world vehicle <laughs> Digital. that's gonna get me from a to b yeah. Yeah. and tax it and put it on the road and sort it all that sort of stuff out for the price of your imaginary spaceship mm. yep fix, yeah it's pretty well fi fi fix yeah. my fix my fleet is there for when people have gone too far if you're if you're on a fix my fleet you've gone too far Quite honestly, um, you know, yeah, I had ship that. buyers anonymous. Yeah. Hi, we, yeah, but my name's Dave, and I buy too many ships. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We, we we've all been here for a long time, though. I think you you would agree. Space. The longer you're here, the more you've spent. Type of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. And um, honestly, it, gifts and ref, and referrals and stuff, and it just starts to yeah. kind of balloon. I don't know where a lot of I, well, ships I, come from when people want to give me stuff space is what you do right if someone wants to give you something tell them that you want them to give it to someone that doesn't have the game that's what i say you know? yeah yeah because absolutely. i you know I, I can get my own ships no matter how long it takes me look i got a crack and it took me five years but i got one all right you know so i will get my own stuff but i'd much rather than get me a kraken or help me get a kraken they go get help look how many starter packs that buys you know yeah. what I mean? Like that, that, that's way more yeah. valuable to me. That's going to add to the health of the game. We have tangimated so much off this list. Uh, tang <laughs> tangimated is not yeah, a word, are. but you get I what I'm saying. Tangimating. Yeah. T sorry. Yeah. That's going <laughs> to stick now in the comments. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. Tangimating. Sorry. I'm I'm still cooked from AIE. Um, it's okay. Just change so, the yeah. YouTube channel to the, the Tangimators. Tangiminators. Yeah. Okay. That's going to stick too. I bet you that name's <laughs> taken by the end of the week. But anyway. Uh, the tangent tours or whatever they're called, but yeah. yeah. All right. Um, number two space. I'll let you go first. All right. So this is going to be a weird one because again, I made this list based on the whole year, not just 318, but the mm. nomad was actually in my number two. Do you know that came up on my, I, I wanted to do it, but my l seething hate for it couldn't, wouldn't allow me. I was like, this will actually be a good ship. I do agree oh, Come on, you. man. No, no. Bless your you, heart. You, you, you don't need to hate. Just love. Just love. Come on. <laughs> let it flow. It's the Nomad, dude. <laughs> they got... The Nomad is such a, like, a, uh, a di divisive ship, too. Like, when it came out and people were like, what is that? Why is it hovering? And yeah, why does yeah, it look yeah. different from the Mustang? Like, yeah. all this... 
Well, well, some people well, loved you, it, you, some people hated it. You've got to admit, though, they reworked the whole Mustang out to get rid of the landing on the wing things, and then the very next ship they bring in is a hovering on the wing ship. It was just a little bit of a weird thing to do. Um, yeah, but at least so, those, those things aren't sticking out while you're flying around. They're nice and tucked away in your belly. I'm, just I'm right up there. Uh, since you said it, I can't get out of my head. There's got to be some merch now, like a hippie version of Space Tomato going, free love, or what would you say, love? <laughs> let it flow, or something? Well, but, yeah. Yeah. Sexual reference a, warning, let it flow, but I, anyway. I've got a um, I've got a mouse pad back in California that has tomato with some like spaghetti on it with the yeah. sauce, and he's got a can, and then yeah. on the side it says, like, uh, legalize marinara. <laughs> you just got to tell that, Jess. <laughs> I think we have a shirt of that, too, on the store. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my awesome. favorites. I like that. <laughs> I'll have to get one for Christmas or something. But yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Um, but anyways, the Nomad is... Uh, I picked it because of the cargo refactor. Yep, um, agreed. Obviously, with like the next version of it, when they do the freight ele the freight elevators and the, the cargo timers and all that stuff, like this is going to be key. The Nomad is going to be super easy to load into, tractor beam some packages in there. Um, and then on top of that, if they get ship tractor beams working with the SRV coming in and they... Get the utility mounts on the Nomad working. I don't think this will happen next year, but we could be hopeful. That would mean you could put a tractor beam on the back of the Nomad I to help you load packages. I think that might happen sooner than you think. We know the SRV they're working on, so they're obviously working yeah, on the tractor beam stuff. I think you. I don't know. You need to be I a mean, bit more of an like, optimist, sir. Just, it's like know, sometimes they, they bring out technology and they only apply it to a certain ship. You know, like the resource management feature is only going to be on mm. certain ships. So I, I, I'm. I'm hesitant about the tractor beams, but yeah. that's mainly why I, I picked the Nomad. That makes a lot of sense. Do, do you agree with it's the Nomad? also no a good ship. Do you agree with the Nomad as a choice, Badgers? I uh, always agree with the Nomad. Um, mm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I, I like it because it looks slightly different mm. from other ships, um, and I just wish they'd added it to the poll for the Miner, because mm. I would have voted for that over all the other options they gave us. That mm. or a grey cap space yeah. Miner. But, um, you know, just give us some, something more from Consolidated Outland. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, because, it, you know, if you look at the way the cargo works, actually, and this is kind of bleeding into my number two as well, but this idea of soft death, you stop a, um, a, a nomad in space that's carrying cargo, you don't have to risk yourself as a pirate fighting into that ship to get the cargo out. You yeah. you know, and as as a cargo runner, you can hide within mm. the the nomad, hoping that they're just going to take the cargo and disappear and leave you to it. Yeah. Um. So there is that kind of element of you know maybe that's a little bit of survivability that that's brought in and and play with that point. mechanic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, that's a really good point. Um. It. it, it... Yeah, more people use Nomads, so when we're pirates, we can take your cargo easier. Endorsed by Badgers. <laughs> That's why I suggested it. <laughs> but, but, but no, I, the, the other thing I'll add to that, real, two things I'll add to that real quick, is eventually they'll bring in a vehicle that does salvage as well, and the Nomad will have, you know, hopefully be able to do like what it does with a rock, so that'll kind of add to that. <laughs> and I can hear our grid saying, yeah, Grey Cat Badgers, Grey Cat, because he is a real, like, when we talked about uh, the land miner on the vote, that's what you were talking about, yeah, the, the, the vote for the miner. Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. We, we, bo we both were like, yeah, Grey Cat 100% should have won that because then they could have taken the Cygnus mining tick and kind of work that into the design of, of it. Mm -hmm. so, so they don't want to give us the Cygnus Miner, but they could have given us something adjacent. Yeah. Well, they did such great things with the Grey Cat armor. I, I yeah. like the styling on the Grey Cat armor, and I felt it was less kind of space trope Mm -hmm. um and a little bit more it felt a little bit more kind of bedded into the universe and mm -hmm. something that's actually believable as something that you would wear so yeah i, I really like it and mm -hmm. you know it gives me but yes lots of I was, Sorry, gonna, I was gonna say it gives me tingles for the utv when that comes out the one that they gave us a, a, a screenshot of i'm very keen to see that when it finally drops too i wonder yeah, the, where you're going with that the <laughs> Sorry, rock <God. laughs> i also really like the design of the rock like visually I, speaking, I know the Rock or... DS. Yeah, the visually speaking, I know the Rock DS is like a very weird vehicle, but the design is I love it. Well, you know why they made it though. Like it's really obvious it's for Squadron Forty Two. So, so basically, either you drive someone around that mines, or an NPC drives you around a new mine. So essentially, so why are we? Why would we be mining in Squadron Forty Two? I don't know, but you got to remember it's Shubin Mining Facility, is where they're at. And and basically, it's one way they can keep you on rails. So if an NPC drives you around, you are stuck in a chair and you can't move. No. 
It's the limit. Crazed miners in mining disputes trying to kill everyone with mining lasers. That's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I wonder how much they're gonna try and the other gameplay elements in the squadron. But mm. that, that sounds like a, that's a tangent. Something right there. Something I'm looking at the doorway of that tangent, and I'm saying no. Oh, right. We'll see. Uh, for me, I think it's just to give you a little bit of difference of gameplay. You know, try out something different in between missions or something like that. But we'll mm. see. Uh, badges, your number two, please, sir. Um. So, yeah, my number two. Um, I'm gonna go for uh, the Hull A. Um, for exactly Ooh. the same reasons mm. as we talked about with the Nomad. Mm -hmm. um, so, you, so you're cargo a pirate being on the outside. You're a pirate, and you want uh, well, other people to use the Hull A. Got it. it works. Yeah, it's beneficial <laughs> for both sides, right? Yes. It um, is. and and this is something that we've talked about um at length with. Uh, I know on my on uh, my Discord is mm. um, it's not going to benefit pirates to just go around slapping everyone upside the head all the time, and of course that's going to happen for a while. But actually, knowing that you're going to get out of a situation alive if you pay off is great. Mm. And then for the pirates, it means that you're not getting homicide stacked mm. against you all the time, mm. and you get this kind of. I keep thinking back to there's a book called Name of the Wind mm. um, uh, and it's written by a guy called Pat Rothfuss and right at the beginning there's a scribe who's being robbed, he's on his horse and he's got his parchment and paper and whatever else Then, as he's being robbed they're going through his bags and they find the alcohol he uses to clean his pens and the guy opens it and goes right I'm going to uh, I'm going to drink that later, screws it out, puts his bag, and Scribe sat there going, you drink that, you'll die. But then the sergeant who's leading the party that's robbing him says, look, you know, we're not animals. Here's some money back. The nearest town is that way. Here's some of your bread back so you get out of here. And then the guy, he says to them, he says, look, don't let him drink that because it will kill him. And he turns around and says to them, do you see what being civilized gets you? You you don't have to be you know an animal, at you know whilst you're doing this, mm. and it's that kind of thing. You know you, mm. you could be trusted to because if I mean if you've got an organisation that's going to come on and kill everyone all the time, why would you pay them for protection? Because you're just expecting them to kill you the minute the funds have been transferred anyway. Well, I'll put this you're just waiting for the missile lock. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> well, I I kind of agree with you, and I'll put I'll put this special question to you, space, but you can join in after space has responded. But um, mm -hmm. isn't this a good time to kind of see just how far pirates can go and allow CIG to tweak that mechanic? Like, wouldn't you want to kind of see just how hard pirates can go, space? Do, you know, so like if they like we were seeing post people like saying this is the end of the game and all this type of stuff. Like we've seen some pretty big drama <laughs> every year. Like yeah, but, like, every, but if we're every gonna, year, but we've never really had piracy, though, have we? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what I mean, like when about, the regeneration stuff and yeah, the inventory yeah, yeah. stuff was coming on. up, people were like, no, this yeah, yeah, is yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or let, let's narrow it in, narrow it in, narrow it in. Like, like I'm talking just piracy here, right? Like, so, so not the mm. end of the the world, right? But like piracy, do you think it is bad as people? are going to make it out to be in 318. I, I think it's a great time to not only try it yourself to see if it's for you, but also just see how bad it's going to be. Because I think it's going to be a lot harder than people realize. I think it does actually take quite a bit of coordination to pull this off. I think it's going to be harder. Yeah, the, the Korea changes make a big difference with that. But ultimately, I think that the problem with the piracy stuff is just that the game's still like, even with these Korea changes, the game's not ready. The law system mm -hmm. isn't ready for them to push piracy all the way because we still don't even have the ability to you don't even have the ability to defend yourself proactively yet and you know just with do, that like do, do, this is really do you think it'll give people a reason to have escorts Let, let's start there then yeah yeah and i, th I think i think i think they're trying to kickstart a little bit of that gameplay because right now there's not enough money in having escorts but if they up the the profitability of a lot of the quests or or, or the the commodities and stuff like that and give you a reason to need an escort i think there'll be some people that just go stuff it i'm going to try and run the gauntlet and see if i can get more money and i think there'll be some people that are going to no, i'm going to play it safe and i've got friends let's get some escorts because i, I and i think uh, i think that's going to work with orgs but they also, again, don't, I think they're missing some of the things they need for that to work well. We can't even, you can't get escorts in game, you know? You have to I, go I, into global I, chat. I, I think global chat will work initially. I think you could, like, 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 if I'm a combat guy 
and I, I am just sitting around and someone goes, hey, I would love an escort for such and such of this and I'll give you, you know, 25%, like of the net profit, I will give you half or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and I think a lot of people would take that because you're doing just as much as work as, as the cargo delivery driver. So I can't see why they wouldn't, you know, I would. And it, it promotes the same that, reason that working to get the gameplay. Hopefully. It's, it's the same reason that we're not getting anybody doing actual refuels. Or, or yep. why people are getting ambushed doing medical yep. missions because I, the I game think, I think can't support the stuff yet. I, I think, yeah, I agree with you. I think, though, like, obviously that refueling was set up for Pyro, but Pyro just didn't come as early as they expected. Um, you know, yeah. things like the raft is another condition of that as well and um, other things like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But there are some pretty big ones I think they should be getting done for, for this kind of stuff. Uh, the law system needs an update. Like, mm -hmm. The reputation and law systems both need an update. We need to be able to see that somebody is constantly killing people who are doing medical missions. Yeah. They have a lowered reputation mm -hmm. for that. And like there are tons of other, you know, similar situations that we kind of just got to call out before we get let pirates just start yeah. running wild. Yeah. But Grand Theft also had a system for this and you had the icons for other players. And the more red that icon was, the more of a psycho that player was. <laughs> Um, and you know, the more the more you were killing people, the more red your icon became. And you just knew if that, yeah, yeah, all right. I didn't he icon, just, not oh, top. Oh, I thought you said the most <laughs> red person. Like I'm a little bit red. You're hardly any red, and he's really <laughs> red. Like, like, oh yeah, it's been in my nature. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know. So you knew if you had this red icon coming towards you, it wasn't a question a question of. Do I stop? Do I parlay? Do I try and reason out of it? Do I offer money? It was just get, get the big gun mm. and wait for this guy to come around the corner and, and yeah. try and, and nuke him. Do you think a bit um, of it is exactly? I was just going to say, I do you think uh, a little bit of it is people are just resistant to change? There are a lot of people that just like that normal routine of doing what they do and they don't want it disturbed. I think that's a bit of it. Too. Yeah. I, I, and I think I but, can, can kind of see that as well in the, you know, you're someone who's trying to learn mining gameplay. You've never done it before, or you, you, you've only done it a few times. You're trying to figure it out. You feel like you're getting a hang of it, and all of a sudden you get, yep. dude, give me 100,000 credits or I'm going to blow you up. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're all you got to have trapped in the same system. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. We're all in Stanton. Yeah. We do, we're not spread out, and we don't have any AI in the game. We're only meant to be ten percent of the overall population. So once you add all those other three things in, it's not going to be anywhere near as bad. I think you'll find most pirates yeah. will be pirating NPCs. But that's why I don't know if it's a good time for us to test it with pirates just running wild well, because we don't have like it's it's not it's not anywhere near what it's going to be like. But later. there's always going to be a wipe. That's my whole point. So at, le at least you can try it out for yourself and see if you actually want to be a pirate. You know, a part of that as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that, that, this is know, a great going to be a great patch to try that. Well, sit, sitting down with Moist Noodle and Agent and talking to them, they totally changed my perception of, of what it was and 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 how much strategy was involved. And 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 the big thing that came across is just most players never have escorts. Never. Right. And 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 as soon yeah. as you have escorts. They've got to then add that into their equation. Shit, can we actually take these people on? And if there's, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. five of you and three of them, they're going to, oh, shit, might not do it now. You know? But so, again, I, I, I got to stress because I've, I've been calling that. I've been calling for this as well. Like, toot mm -hmm. in the horn. We have to have escorts. We need to be able to prepare ourselves and defend ourselves. But mm -hmm. it's just not easy enough. If yeah. they just had a simple button press, like a beacon yeah. to say, hey, Agreed. fly yeah. within 500 meters of me from this location to this location. Mm. and keep me alive the, just a beacon like that just to yeah. get somebody well, that, officially on board yes. with you don't, don't even game. don't even need that it's just keep me alive from a to b and sure, you get paid yeah. and if i don't make it but, you don't get paid <laughs> That's mm -hmm. yeah. but until then until the game starts facilitating that we're just not going to see that shift in the culture i agree I with think. you it's, but, it's, but, it's but, like you said it, it, it's just not it's not just one or two systems they need to bring online it's the whole thing like you said the, the legal system the law system needs a whole overhaul. Um, are, the punishment just needs an overhaul. We can't even match speeds at the moment. You do know they're they're upping the requirements for one and two to just being fines. You don't go to jail anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Just want to check yeah, that because that's that's that yeah, alone is yeah. going to change the whole. It's it's been that way for two and a half years. Like I remember, yeah. you, I'd bring new people into the game and they just like accidentally make a mistake and they'll go to jail and they're like this i'm done and they'll never come back 
I can't uh, imagine how many people they've lost because of that law system. Like, astronomically yeah, high. We need, as, yeah. as Space was saying, we need a button we can just flip. Combat mm -hmm. assistance. Click. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then everything else. You set it up. What is it that you want this button to say when you send stuff? So you already set a UAC level. All you need is to click go. Mm -hmm. Not I right tab, uh, right, I need to type in how much whilst mm -hmm. your ship's getting yeah. hammered and you're the Doing pilot. all of that, it's, yeah. You know, allow us to fly in formation. Allow us to go match speed. Well, I even, mean, if that even, button even, exists, I don't, I even, don't know where it is. Even just a button you can hit that says, come and save me, and I will pay mm -hmm. you X amount. And you can set it to X yeah. amount, like you said, and then basically you just hit that button, and if it, someone turns up and you get saved and you're out of, once you're out of combat, they get paid. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that's what you need. But I think you're both right. I think we, it'd be cool as content creators um, and, and just the general public if we can actually get onto CRG and go, all right, next patch, this is a good first step for 318. <laughs> can we now get some beacons? Because yeah. we haven't had some beacon I mean, stuff in a while, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what, and that's what we're saying every patch, right? Hey, yeah. we need this now. Hey, we need that now. Like it's, well, you you're know, not going to sure get, know. you're not going to get everything you want, but like, I think a, yeah. an upgrade to the beacon system when we're only really asking for a small oh, yeah, little change and we can hit him with bacon memes again, you know, so that's always a bonus. Um, you know, if you remember, uh, Bannister, she always used to say bacon, but if you do, I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah. Tessa? Uh, I'm showing, yeah, I'm showing my age about Tessa now. Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm trying to remember who was up. Are we up to my number two? Because I'm trying to get us back on track, but I... I think we're... Spaces, are we? Space? Yeah. Well, we did your mine. two. What was your number two? Did we do yours? Uh, No, I didn't do my number two yet. All right. Well, I'm going to do mine and then you can do yours. All right. So Cut Cut all right. Cutlass is my number two. So uh, I believe it was you that did Cutlass. Was it not Space as well? Yeah. 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 So... so no, not the steel, not the steel. Bite that. Just the black. Just the black <laughs> is the only one I really like, to be honest with you. Um, I think it is, it is probably going to be really, really, uh, might come back to bite me. Uh, a bit like you, like what you said, uh, Space, uh, you're really waiting for it to be dethroned. I think it is the single best ship in the game right now. Like you can, there's not a single thing in the game that you really can't do with it. It is the every man encompassing ship, right? It doesn't do everything perfectly. But you could do more with that ship than you can do with anything else, right? You take a prospector, you're locked to mining. You take a really big ship, you need more players. You know, you can technically solo this, but it allows you to take a couple other people with you. It does a bit of combat, it does cargo. You can put rocks in the back of it to go mining, all those type of things. You can put a vehicle in the back of it, you know? It just allows you to do more than anything else. And I think that's what makes it a really great ship. And for me, it's almost my number one, but not quite. I'll let mm. you guys speak to that. But I, just, you, I think you're the only one that really hasn't said anything about the colors, <clears throat> so I'll let you take the floor there. Because I fucking ate it. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> really? Oh, tell, tell us. No, the different no, no, opinion. No. I, I, I mean, put me in a, put me in a Connie Taurus. I can fit more in than you. I've got bigger guns than you. I've got more mm. missiles than you. I can take more crew than you. I can still solo it. I can still do all of the things that that thing does from something that frankly looks sexier isn't made of duct tape and dreams um yeah that has to be yeah, down with the cutting dreams I, I, I was, oh, no. yeah that, that'd, be, that'd be a great t-shirt wouldn't it drake duct tape and dreams <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I was going to add on top, actually, X, after you were talking, yeah. was something I think is a downside to the Taurus, and that is the resource management is probably going to favor the Cutlass in that mm. in that equation. Well, that's why I say right the smaller now, size of that ship is going to be easier to uh, to manage to maintain. But but but, but I, when I say best in the game, I mean best right now because everything badges are saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can look at negatives and positives for both. This is what I was saying in my head. Yeah. I was saying so exactly what you said. Easy to maintain, less people. But then by the same token, here's another negative to the Taurus. It probably can't through, fit through the same size jump point. You know what I mean? So 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 Taurus will have to go around like like around the long way where the cut cut the cutlass can go straight through. You know that type of thing. But then but then again, in a fight, the Taurus is more likely to survive that the, there's pros and cons to everything that's that's the best thing about this game you can actually give positives for or a reason for almost every ship to exist and i think the example that i'd give that you would understand badges was when we were talking about drop ships that day me you and essay do you remember that was you there i think it was you i could be wrong but every drop ship where we talked through where we talked through every permutation of drop for drop ship from the hop light through to the the talon every single one of them was the best at what it was built for 
There was not a single one that we couldn't go, that deserves to be in the game. And I think it's the mm -hmm. same thing with every single ship. So these top fives, you could almost say they're superfluous. But, but again, you know, when we're picking for a, a particular patch and, and a particular, you know, particular things, I, I went for combat, uh, salvage, and cargo. And, and that, that's what I picked my stuff around. So, yeah. All right. Space. Unless you want to add to it, uh, your number two, please. My number two is the C8R Pisces. Oh, uh, I think I know someone else's number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be honest. It's a solid ship. I'm gonna be honest. This is the one I heard and went, oh, of course. What an idiot. I can't believe I forgot that. But yes. Um Yeah. I agree. Uh, this is a fantastically set up for this patch. It's brand new, so it's got all the best updates and all that stuff, mm. you know, all the best practices. Mm. Uh the interior is fantastic. Mm. Adds probably one of the only things missing from a ship like the Pisces. You can still you have the smallest ship in the game that can carry three people secured. Still. Mm. And this time, one of them can be getting healed, which is which is awesome. So overall, just a, a great ship. It gives you the chance to try gameplay that most other people can't mm -hmm. in the uh, medical beacon stuff. It makes you valuable in events for people who need to, you know, set up a station where people can get healed real quickly and, and stuff like that. Overall, I just think it's a fantastic ship. Uh, it was an obvious choice for them to convert into an ambulance. And I think it's going to make for a great daily driver because you've also got like weapons spots and, and inventory and stuff right two things before we move on to badges uh because i'm going to get him to do his number one because i think his number one's the same just guessing but they also in the video of the uh, medical pisces showed search and rescue terrapins so i do think we might have those coming down the line but i could be wrong. they showed it wait what search and rescue terrapin yeah if you go watch the 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 uh, you know the jacks mccleary ads he goes oh there's the brand new uh c8r i've heard so much about and oh there's some Search and rescue terrapins. He's just literally what he calls them. So, oh, does that a hint to we're I, getting search and rescue? Terrapins I figured. Somewhere? I figured he was just referring to that's how they were using the terrapins. Maybe that'd be too. That'd be too easy, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I look forward to it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So uh, badges. Um, I, I don't know if you know this. I went to a virtual bar citizen recently, and I won a C eight R for free. I got it for free. I won. Uh, so yeah. How much do you pay for your uh, medical? <laughs> No, no, mate. I, I mean, as a YouTuber, I would have given it back to the community, but hey, that's just who I am. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about um, how many ships I've given away this week, but okay, sure, go ahead. <laughs> um, but yes, no, I, I look, CAR, because snacks, you open mm. that mini fridge, it's mm. got med pens in there, it's got drinks, it's mm. got food, and if there's three things I forget, it's snacks, med pens, and drink. Yeah. So yeah, no, I I, I love it, and uh, I loved it before the CAR, um, as I know a lot of people did. Um, it's very very nippy. You can go from stop to boosting out of orbit very very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the booster lasts a long, nice long time for a shuttle. Mm -hmm. um, it's so quick to get in and out of. Um, you know, it's forgiving when you fly it. It it's it's just great, and it's small enough that on some of the bunkers. You can actually hide it behind stuff and not have to deal with turrets and things. Um, you know, it's not huge. Um, so, yeah, that's my number one. I know I mentioned the Redeemer, but I very quickly yeeted that out for the Hull A because yeah. you'd mentioned it yourself. So, yeah, that's number good, one, CAR. Um, I have to kind of agree with you. You really converted me on the Pisces too, especially when Halloween was on. It was really good at doing that stuff. And I can only mm -hmm. imagine now that the, the CNR will kind of overtake that uh, for the same reasons. Uh, but I, I think there's a place for both of them in the game too, still with that cargo running and stuff like that. I don't know. I always, I'll put this out to you. You'll probably shoot me down, but I, I still think it was kind of built for that hospital uh, uh, galaxy. That That seems to be what I think it was for but you guys can correct me if you think I'm wrong. Just seems to really speak to that. And the fact that they've got an image of it coming out the back. Yeah. I think, it kind of I, I, I think it's beautiful because it just, it fits for everything, right? They showed video of it coming out of the top of the Carrick. I, mm -hmm. I think it just, it, 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 because it almost makes the Carrick a variant without having to change the Carrick at all. Yep. Um, you know, I, hopefully they add a little bit more depth to the medical gameplay. So a tier three med bed is able to maybe extend the timers or stabilize tier two, tier one. Um, yeah. Because think, otherwise the actually transferring it back to a ship is a bit weird. You could do that in anything. You don't necessarily need to do a CAR for that. I think um, it would at the very yeah. least it'll extend the timers. 
mm-hmm. so to speak. So if you've got 15 minutes, you put them in a bed, maybe it'll double it, you know? So we'll, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've already spoken about that space. Uh, so actually, Space, I'll let you do your number number one then, and then I'll, and I'll go last. So what's your number one? This one was, this one was a close one, uh, but it's a pretty expected one. Mm-hmm. The Avenger Titan's my number one. Because Choice. I think I'm always just going to go back to what ship is best equipped for a new player to do everything they possibly can in the game um, and see what they want to take on going forward. And I think the Avenger Titan, I mean, obviously, you know, as we said in the beginning, the daily driver is different for everybody. This is me trying to pick a general one for somebody who's coming into the game. And I think getting to start at it's not necessarily step one that'd be the aurora but it's it's pretty it's pretty down there you know in terms of starters and i think the avenger is a great ship for people to take out and experience the game and understand what they want to do yeah still Mm -hmm. prop that's interesting still probably my number one pick for daily driver so yeah sorry uh yeah so did the did the cutter not bump that off the top spot for you that's um, that's place? why it was close that's what so I, was, I was yeah i was about to ask was you said thinking, the, you said the cutter was in your list and i'm going wait the hand was that it? I, well I was, yeah i was going back and forth on it and yeah. you know the cutter is good but i just i after after testing it a little bit i'm just not too sure it's going to mm-hmm. the thing is the cargo i think mm-hmm. kind of hurts it it like does. trading even the most expensive commodities to make some money in the cutter is just not worth it. Whereas with the Avenger Titan, at least you get double what that is. And um, I think I think that on its own, and also I think the Avenger is a little more combat worthy, both make me uh, appreciate it a little more than the cutter. But I do think the cutter is the better experience because it's newer. It's got the it's got much better polish on it. It's got everything working for it. It's got all its knickknacks and, and stuff. But the Avenger, I think, is still a better choice. Hopefully, all ships eventually will get that polish, though, so they'll all come at the park. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but but they're starter mm-hmm. ships for a reason. They're there to start with. And the one thing I just want to clarify, I said best daily driver. I meant to say best advanced starter is what I meant to say. Sorry. <laughs> My tightness is for this for me. Yeah, for, for, for the this, Avenger. For the, for the Avenger. Oh, I, I, yeah, I still yeah. think it's the best advanced starter. Like, if, I, if someone's coming into the game and, it, like, money's not an object or anything like that, that's the where I say just get an Avenger Titan done. You know, that... That, that's all you need. It, it's going to yeah. set you up. Um, it's a ship that you can use down the line as well, so you can use it as a fighter. It's nippy. It's a good little B, A to B vehicle transporter as well. You know, it's got a big flexibility in the bounty hunting profession and and maybe with a warlock down the road. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out. But, you know, I just I just like it how it's it, it's it's the first really flexible ship we have, you know, because, because yeah. of variants and stuff. It, it, it's only one variant but at the moment, but... <laughs> It's enough. It's pretty. It's pretty crazy how much the Avenger Titan and the Cutlass Black have both kept their throne as the the two dominant ships in those kind of classes. Yep. Because I would say it's gone back and forth in the range of the Connie uh, mm-hmm. MSR. Um, what's the new one? Corsair. Mm-hmm. That kind of class. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also with like the, the the far down starters from the Aurora to the Pisces and all that kind of stuff. But the Avenger and the Cutlass Black, man, they just stick around. Well, it's funny you mentioned the Corsair because that's my number one Um, and why it's in the image in the background Um, because um, it is a new kid on the block, like I just said, but with those guns and the cargo and then you say go out with a vulture, you could go, you could take four vultures out. They could all mine, uh, you know, mine, I mean, salvage. <laughs> and, and, mine you know, ships. Yeah, yeah, mine ships. And, uh, you know, this can be the cargo ship that carries all their stuff and it defends them. You know, so it, 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 it's a it's an escort cargo ship essentially at the moment, right? Cargo is not huge and prevalent at the moment. You know, we don't have these. You know, once the the C's and the D's and the E's and the banner merchants come in, that'll take off. But we don't have that really large scale of commodities yet. So right now in three eighteen, this is a really good ship. Like it is. Like like some people hate the fact that it's Drake, but you got to admit, having one pilot with all those guns is pretty damn strong. If you can turn the ship fast enough. Yeah. Well, that's obviously its weakness, but like you could have two of them, one in each direction. No, I'm just kidding. But you get my, <laughs> you get, you get what I mean though. Like, like it's a, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a good armored, uh, armed, I should say armed, weapon armed. Um, it's an able bodied ship. Cargo ship. And, you know, if, if they see you coming and they're shooting at you first, you, you're going to struggle. Um, but you are right. It is biggest weakness is its backside. 100%. Even the NPCs 
you know, th there's only that one turret that you can kind of turn to bear when they're behind you. So it, it, it yeah. does have a weakness. And I've heard all these people complaining about how strong it is, but they have clearly not fought this thing. If you can get behind this thing, this thing is is almost toast. So yeah, it's got weaknesses for sure. Uh, but in the patch right now that we're about to walk into, uh, I think I think with the vulture uh, and the salvage coming in and the cargo refactor, it, it, it speaks to almost. It, I know it doesn't salvage itself, but those three things that I looked at, which was combat, cargo, and salvage, it it, it hits two of them and it it helps the third a lot, and and that's why I picked it. So yeah, um, do you guys want to talk about the cause real quick? Or is there anything you want to add I, to what I said? Or? I, I pretty much agree with everything. It's a really good, well, well-rounded ship, and it was something I was going to put on this list of daily drivers. But mm. again, my list is kind of more solo player oriented, I think, and and this one is a pretty big one. That's good because that that shows us that that you're probably going to play the game more of a solo person. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> or with or with Mrs. Tomato. I got I got an org. Yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of yeah, we've got a lot of group play planned, but yeah. I do plan on doing a lot of solo gameplay on my own in the game. Yeah, I just we have to tell Mrs. Tomato what he said. He's in trouble, right? Yeah. Uh... Well, she's gonna be a pirate. She's gonna be off doing her own her own thing. Oh, she I'm, can... not, I'm not getting involved. She can come play I with did. me. She can come play with me then, and we'll pirate you. She'll like that. Yeah, she'll get you back. That's what it'll be. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, re I'll reach out to her after this. So yeah, Badges... just fired from the org. <laughs> Badges, what about you? Do, do you do do you think the Corsair's got a place this patch, or you, you, are there other ships that speak to you? Yeah, I mean, this is why why it was my number four, right? Mm. Um, yeah, I I think between um, kind of what I said then and, mm. and what you said now, we we've, we've covered it, Renny. Yeah, I'm just going to say something that you're not going to be able to unsee as well. When you fly this and the wings are up, it's like flying an open pizza box. There you go. That's exactly, like, you, you, you get what I mean. When it flies, when you fly and you're coming into land, just picture an open pizza box because that's what it feels like to fly. Like, you know when you're walking around with a pizza box and that top thing's doing this? Mm. It's the same as that. It just feels really strange. No? All right. Maybe it's just me. I'm a weirdo. Okay. No, thanks. I've got a mute button on top of my thing, so I click that. Oh, okay. So I didn't hear anything you said because I don't want to see things the way you see things, like ever. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to see the pizza box for what it is. <laughs> oh, I see you later, isn't it? <laughs> yep. All right, cool. All right. Well, um, with that, I'd like to hear in the comments below you, your guys' top five, you know, and, and give us a bit of the reasoning behind it as well. And I'll, I'll go through it. Hopefully, Space and Badges get a chance to peruse it as well. And if you want to at one of us about ours, do that as well, because you can use handles now, which is a fancy feature. Uh, space, what's your handle uh, for your YouTubes? Is it just Space Tomato at Space Tomato? Space Tomato. Yep. yep. Uh, badges, what's yours? Drinkers with gaming problems, I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. And, and you can just in infer on as me. Um, or oh, I can't remember what other one off the top of my head. Yeah, but just add in front of me or Agrid will look at that one. Um, or one of these boys. I, I, you know, you can add any of the one of the in front of with their handles as well. But yeah, would is that what you got? Is there anything else you guys would like to hear in the comments besides that? Uh I want to hear what people are expecting to be the ship that they fly for the year, honestly. I'd like to hear some more mm -hmm. distant timelines because we've got a lot of interesting features. I'm I'm gonna plug my own video here yeah, real quick ahead. but I, I put out a video about ship features coming up next year we've got a lot of interesting ones that might come out mm. so i'd like to hear what people are thinking they'll they'll switch up in mm. anticipation of that well well your that tier list that you were kind of talking about at the start of the show we will be doing that again soon where we all sit down like we did uh this year it'll be in january though um where we all sit down and we'll number out and, and rank every ship in the game and, and do that again or, or something similar to that effect um i had a lot of fun doing that and it was it's a bit hard controlling seven of you at once and we've now got Loken, so it's going to get even more hectic but um yeah I, i'm looking forward to that show it's a, we don't always all get together but when we do it's a lot of fun so yeah uh, badges mm -hmm. what about you badges anything you would like to hear in the yeah, you <laughs> uh, i was gonna say that was a that was a long ass episode it was lots of fun but it yeah. was a long ass episode yeah. last time yeah, and, I was needing to get up and walk around after that episode. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun though. Like we just don't get to do, like it's probably the one in episode a year where we get. I think mm. Paul was the only person that couldn't make it because he was doing uh, Captain's Table. So I want to try and find a time where we can all get together for it can, which is obviously very difficult because we all live in different parts of the world. But but we'll try to make it work. So is there anything you want to hear in the comments though, uh, Badges? 
No, I think we've covered it. I'm looking forward to seeing people's uh, top five lists and uh, about how much they hate the cutty too. And I can't believe you haven't mentioned it once. I'm just going to say that right now. You know what I'm talking about, but I can't believe you haven't mentioned it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I sent you a message on Discord. You don't know what I'm talking about at all, do you? In complete ignorance. Okay. All right. Well, with that then, uh, he's been... Uh, Space, where can people find you on the interwebs? We should do that. Um, I have a website, spacetomatogaming.com. Mm -hmm. That'll lead you to everything, but I stream on Twitch. I have two YouTube channels, Space mm -hmm. Tomato and Space Tomato 2. I host two audio podcasts, Launch Sequence Podcast and uh, Citizen Central. And you can find me on Discord if you want to come chill with the community, join an organization, hang out. Mm. Otherwise, I'm on here sometimes. And you've got merch for sale too. You said that was new merch as well. We've so got merch. Sans yeah, this Santa is a new one. We got a sick new design. Uh, it's coming to me soon that I'll be wearing. But I'm excited for it. Yeah. It's custom Luminalia themed. It's got Microtech on it and all this stuff. It's not actually Microtech. It's can, just a snowy planet. Can you but... link? Can you link me the uh, that that pasta one? The what do you call it? Marinara one. Is that what it was? Oh marinara? yeah. Yeah. Link me that one. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll marinara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I think yeah. So I'll, I'll definitely look at that for Christmas. So yeah. All right. All right, Badgers, where can people find you on the interwebs? Uh, so uh, on YouTube, Drinkers with Gaming Problems, come find us. Um, I do videos occasionally when I feel like it. Uh, I also stream once. Mm. Just once. once. Just once. Okay. <laughs> so that was that. Decided? Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> you, you probably you probably need to go you probably need to go not not to invite you, but Space, you probably should get him to come out with hang out with you sometime and you can show him the ropes and you know you know yeah. see what he's like. Just he's, he's really good at the military stuff. So if you want to do some combat stuff, actually, uh, and, and a, yeah, and Avenger One offered to hang out with both Space and myself and a few of the others when he was on there with us. So maybe maybe one time I'll drag you along and you can hang out with me in Avenger One. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, yeah, I was going to say because like if I'm not good at the military stuff, that I really am screwed. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm not good at anything in the game. So <laughs> you, you, I, I think you're a, a generalist, Space. So that's fine. You, you, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's so, exactly yeah. it. And right. I think I'll exactly. be the same. I think I'll be the same. It's kind you? of good at everything. <laughs> All right. So yeah. don't forget to like, uh, dislike it if you dislike it, and subscribe, ring that notification bell. And we've had a lot of people telling us they're not getting our videos. So remember to turn on all notifications with the bell. If you go to the extra mile, if you go to the extra mile on Patreon, feel free to do so as well. I've now hooked up uh, YouTube memberships, Twitch subscriptions, and something else that I've forgotten to the Discord as well. So you've all got Discord roles now and all that type of stuff. And, and their emotes carry over to, to Discord as well. So yeah. All right. With that, he's been Space Tomato. He's been Badges. And I've been Execute. We'll catch you in the next one.